Good afternoon, everybody. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the cockpit of this little turboprop, this little twin turboprop, the Cessna Conquest 1. Um, so, without uh, further ado, let's get started. Over here, we have our circuit breaker panel. So, it extends all the way back here to kind of where my butt is, all the way up here, and then all the way over here. And not only just there are there circuit breakers, but there's also circuit breakers on this side. This is kind of more for all of our avionics and some accessories, the uh, autopilot, all of that sort of stuff. Over here we got mostly some of our accessories here for the back. We got all of our engine circuit breakers. We also got uh, a lot of our other system circuit breakers, landing gear, auto feather, all that kind of stuff that's important for operating the aircraft. And it's on this side because we have to have quick access to it if we need to. Now, if we go up from there, we have all of our switches, and they're conveniently placed right, to, right beside my left leg. Um, starting over here, we have our avionics, left and right buses, our fuel control heaters. We have a uh, AC inverter, actually two of them, one and two. We're using number one right now. Everything here in green is our anti and ice Up here, we have our auto feather. We have our overspeed governor test, and then we have our fuel boost pumps. Over here, we have our generators, left and right. Our master switch is this one right here for the battery. Our start and igniter switches are there, and then we have just the igniter switches right there. We want to use those um, in case we're flying in some thick ice. At 1-2000 for a Sierra Galapa. And we just got cleared to 1-2000, so we're going to put that in the box right there. Alright, now if we go up from there, we have our lights, like our landing lights, our navigation lights, our anti collision lights, our de ice light, which shows uh, us if we have ice accumulating on the wing. And we have all of our internal light rheostats right there, so we can control the internal lights. Now, if we look down here at the panel, right down here, we have our pressurization uh, gauges. We also have some electrical stuff. This is for our prop de ice, shows us if the props are on or off. And here we have a uh, uh, turn and bank indicator here. We have a little temperature gauge here. And right in front of us, we have our primary flight display. And this is the Garmin G600 TXI, which uh, is super awesome. Uh, I'll make another video explaining this, but it gives us all of our features that we need for navigating and making sure we fly straight and to the right destination. It gives us all our critical information, such as airspeed, our altitude, all of our navigation, and our artificial horizon with the synthetic vision, which essentially is a representation of the actual terrain. And we have some maps here with charts and all sorts of cool stuff. Now below that, we have a backup indicator, which in case this fails, this is what we rely on here, which represents the same information, but a little more limiting. Down below that, we have our uh, autopilot. So this is how we control the autopilot, tell the airplane what to fly. Right next to that, we have our engine gauges. So left and right, you can see this whole engine stack here. Hopefully everything's in the green. As you can see, um, everything's looking pretty good right now. And up here we have our engine fire lights. Uh, in case we have an engine fire, we have a master caution light that'll warn us if there's something going wrong. And over here we have all of our warning lights. And I'm pressing this press to test button so you can see them all lit up. See that? If, uh, if you ever saw that, it would be a really bad day. Uh, so let's extinguish that so the passengers in the back don't get all freaked out. Now, if you're wondering what these are, these are two NAVCOM GPS units. This is NAVCOM GPS number one, the Garmin GTN 750, and this is our backup, the GTN 650. It's also a GPS, so we have one and two for redundancy. Right down here is where we control the engines. This is our power lever here. This is how we control how much fuel we're putting in the engine. This here is our propeller control. So we can change what RPM we want the propellers at. Right now we got them set at 1830 or so. Um, but we can change that depending on uh, uh, you know, what kind of uh, engine setup we want. These are our fuel uh, controllers here. And they're either on or off. If we're in the air, these are on. Never touch them. Never touch the red ones, leave them on all the time. Down here we have our flaps. Uh, oh, first of all, landing gear. This little switch right here is our landing gear. Uh, you can see these little landing gear lights there. So if we have the landing gear down, it'll show green. Um, but uh, obviously we've got the landing gear up right now. So here's our flap controller here. Obviously the flaps are up. 
And down here we have our pressurization controls, our bleed air controls, and our autopilot on and off uh, and pitch control wheel right there. On this side we have all of our co-pilot instruments and also kind of a backup instruments. Down here we have our environmental controls such as our air conditioner right there, our auxiliary heater, and obviously two controls, one there, one here, and we are in the clouds right now so things are getting a little bit bumpy. Guys I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I will uh, be posting more videos and uh, more cockpit tours in more detail but uh, I gotta land an airplane now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you don't mind like and subscribe and uh, if you feel like you want to uh, reach out to uh, Send me a message on Instagram, or send a message, well, I guess you can't on YouTube, but you can uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy and safe flying.